I'm going to start in the NL East as we go through these divisions. I'm going to take Atlanta uh, to win it, uh, you know, a very competitive uh, Eastern division. I'll take the Braves, Mets with injuries, Hoskins out with the Phillies. The Braves, you know, have the winning culture, tracked down the Mets last year and beat them at the end. Uh, you know, listen, Atlanta ended up losing. It didn't really ma mount to anything. They got knocked out in that first round. But I do think that Atlanta, with their with Soroka eventually, better pitching top to bottom. Uh, again, resourcefulness, Grissom in the minor leagues. They make trades. Younger core. Mets, no Diaz, no Quintana, and old re older rotation. I think that the Braves are the cream of the crop uh, as far as this NL East is concerned. Now, there'll be a close race with the Mets. I think the Phillies are in the upper 80s. I don't, I'm not as high on the Phillies as everybody else is. I think the Phillies, with Hoskins out, they got Suarez, who's, you know, not going to be available right out of the gate. Uh, Harper, of course. I'm not as high in the Phillies to win the division as I am Atlanta. I'll go the Braves, uh, team number one. Team number two, I'm going to take the Cardinals in the NL Central. I mean, I like to take a run out Milwaukee. I think there's some issues in that Brewer clubhouse. They haven't spent any money. They got Burns all ticked off with that arbitration hearing. Don't tell me that doesn't, uh, you know, run people, the, rub people the wrong way. Haters trade last year, Stu, resonates. They got a great manager. Maybe their offense will be a little better. They bring in the kid from uh, Seattle who had the great year two years ago with the Reds. So from that standpoint, uh, but I think, and maybe Yelich can hit some home runs, and I do have good starting pitching, but I think the Brewers are, are not going to win the division. I think the Cubs could catch them for second place. I think you got to take the Cardinals. I don't like the Cardinals in postseason play. They do not have big-time starting pitching, but they have enough to get through the 100 games. They're winning the low 90s. St. Louis will win the NL, NL Central like a year ago. And I'm going to take San Diego in the NL West. I mean, everybody loves them. I like to go against them to be a little different, but everybody seems to love them. Big lineup. Tatis returns. Good enough starting pitching. Pitching. Hater all year in the bullpen. Little something to prove. A vulnerable Dodger team. So a lot of people runs with San Diego. I could be different. I'll take the pods to win the division. So Braves, Cards, Padres to win the divisions. Now as far as the wild card is concerned, I'll stay out in the NL West and I'll take the Dodgers. I don't see the Dodgers falling off the face of the earth. I think the Dodgers will be good enough to win 91-92 games. Uh, obviously they can make a trade there in the middle of the season to add a pitcher or two. Bueller might return. Dodgers, you know, listen, would you rather win a division and lose in the first round or win the wild card and get hot? So maybe the Dodgers do some damage in postseason play when they're a little healthier. Dodgers are one of the wild card teams. Obviously I'm going to take the Mets and the Phillies, the other two wild card teams as far as the NL East is concerned. I'm not taking the Brewers. I got to take this. You look at Gonsolin here, come back. Here are the Phillies right now uh, with Schwerber, Harper middle of the year. I'm going to take the Phillies to be one of the wild card teams. I mean, listen, uh, they got Wheeler and Nola at the top of the rotation. They brought in Walker. Uh, their bullpen is certified with Soto from Detroit. Maybe they get a little something out of Kimbrell. I think the Phillies, you know, they know how to win. You know, Turner, of course. I think the Phillies will be definitely a wild card team. I'm going to still take the Mets maybe to be ahead of them in the wild card chase. Not that it makes that big a difference. You're still going to have to win the best of three series with those games on the road. But I will take the Mets and the Phillies. It's Alonzo. Uh, we all know about Lindor. I mean, listen, uh, they got that young third baseman. It's McNeil. They actually won a batting championship. I mean, this team's got an opportunity here to be a very, very good team. You know they're going to be good. You know, maybe a little chip on their shoulder. They all want to win for Buck last year, the way it finished. Maybe they were annoyed by that. Senga, people seem to think it's going to be very, very good. The owner's got more money than God. The Rembrandt's in the bathroom. He has spent if he has to at the training deadline. They, they are, you know, listen, I don't like him in the postseason. Too old with the starting pitching, not a dominant closer. I do not like them at the moment in October. I don't think Scherzer and Verlander are going to hold up, but I do think to get to October, you have to take the, think the Mets will get there. So, same as last year. I wish I could be different. Mets, Phillies, Braves. Braves win the division, a la last year. Cardinals, of course, in the NL Central. And then the, I'll make the little switch. I'll go San Diego in the NL West ahead of L.A. If you can find another team to break these six, God love you, because I can't.